All right, we're gonna be working on removing the dash trim pieces for say vinyl, like what I've got here, or painting, you know, modification, anything like that. You know, you're gonna to wanna to take these parts out to get the best results. So we're gonna learn how to remove this. This is the uh, piece up here. This is actually separate from your faceplate from the radio. We'll remove this. The AC controls, which I've got my uh, buttons out in a bag over here. I've already had all this out. I'm not finished with this piece yet. But uh, we'll learn how to remove this, the gear shifter around here, and this bottom piece of the dash right here. All of this is one piece that will have to come out in order to get this out. And uh, last but not least, these, these pieces right here. So for the most part, pretty simple. Uh, we're going to start with the uh, radio trim right here. Okay, so for this one, it doesn't matter which side you pull it on. We're grabbing this seam right here with your fingers, or if you've got plastic pry tools, you know, you can get those on Amazon for about 12 bucks or something. Definitely worth it to use plastic. You don't want to be in here plying with a metal screwdriver. You're, you're going to mess up your plastics. So uh, I, I managed to do this by hand. You can also do it with uh, plastic pry tools. And again, either side you want to pull on. I'm just going to grab here. Let's see what happens. If you can see this, the bottom starts to come out. So now the bottom's lifted up. And there it goes. The whole thing's starting to come out. Now on the top, you don't want to grab this bottom and pull straight out. We've got clips here and here that are going straight into the dash. So I'm going to grab up top and just pull toward me. Let's see, we're a little looser now. And that's how it goes when you take apart your car. Um, let's see. You'll see here. I mean, none of the clips are damaged from pulling on that. You've got two at the bottom. And then these actual that, that have the metal here, these clips. Two in the middle and then two on the top. So, not damaged at all, even though this thing just took a nasty spill into the floorboard. Uh, so next up, we are going to work on this uh, this top piece with the cargo tray up there all right so on this piece I think it is uh, six clips on this one we've got two right here in the front which are your typical uh, you're gonna push in right here and right here in the middle of those clips and that's gonna pop up uh, and then let's see if you can see in here right inside this little hole if you get in there and pry up you'll push this clip out. Same on both sides. You got this little hole right here. You can get something in there and pry up, upwards, and there's a little bitty clip right in there and it's gonna pop up. So I'm gonna get those done and then I'll show you what's uh, next on the back of it. I'm gonna try to get this one on video so you can see. There we go. So it's, e it's that easy, prying on those uh, middle two clips. So now we've got it, and it's, and it's, you'll see, stuck on the back. Well, there just came the back one. You can pull up on the sides, on the front, just uh, straight up on that. These back clips, all these clips on this one are going straight down into the dash. So here's how it is mounted in your dash. You've got the first two clips. Then you'll push those sides right there, pry those up, and then on the back, you just pull straight up on this thing, and it comes right out. Add that to the pile. Let's get on to the next pieces. Uh, let's see what we want to do. We're going to take this this piece out, and uh, in order to do that, first, and it's the same on both sides. I'm going to do this one because I've got a bunch of change in that one. Uh, first thing, if you just pull out on the front of this, it starts to come out really easy piece I mean you're not gonna break these clips or anything um, and what that reveals just a little bit of extra um, holes there or whatever but if you'll notice you've got a, a screw here 
and on the top of it you've got a screw here now what I actually use for this this is gonna be a seven millimeter I just grabbed an extension with the socket on the end these things are not torqued down very much as it is plastic you know you don't want to torque this down and crack that plastic um, So, so again, there's your first one. Second one right down here. And I don't know about the differences um, as far as the different trim models of the Sonic. I've got an LTZ, so I've got this MyLink head unit. Um, I mean, I'm guessing it's all very similar behind the the dash trim or whatever but uh so i've got this unscrewed now i'm just gonna pull grab and pull on this anywhere um it's got some clips along the outside of of this piece along there um you can just pull those out no prying necessary you can just pull it out so here's what we've got Um, you know, once you get those screws out, these clips all just pull, and I've had this out a couple times now. No uh, invisible damage on any of these clips. I mean, they're they're holding up pretty well. This is a 2013, and I'm doing this video in 2016, so three years on these clips before they ever got pulled out, and none of them are broken, so it's not really a concern. Uh, now we've got that out. I'm not going to bother with this one since you know. So same on both sides. So now, if um, what what bothered me was I, as I got the red up here, and this piece was still silver, so I wanted to get this out. This one was a little difficult. I took the two screws out up here. I left one in for uh, just for the you know video reference, but I, I pulled and pulled and pulled on this thing, and it would not come anywhere. And I was afraid to pull anymore for for fear of breaking it. So. I got to taking the rest of this off, and I realized to get this off, you've got to take this off. So this one's really simple. What we're going to do on this is grabbing the front, just right in the little lip there, and not pulling out. We're just going to, essentially we're just going to squish this in and kind of make this plastic piece bow up in the middle. Because the clips are in the front and in the back. And they're not necessarily clips, they more just fit into a groove. So again, we're going to push this in and kind of squish this thing together and make the middle bow up. And you'll see, there's no like popping it in and out. We just got this piece to, because it's, you know, it will bend pretty easily. And you've just got these little hooks there. Same on front and the back. Once you get that front out, the back just lifts straight up. So, easy, easy piece to pull out and paint. Um, you know, I've got mine wrapped in vinyl or whatever. This little black trim right here, it's like a rubber edge that goes around the shifter. If you look on the inside, that just pops straight out. So, if you were going to paint this, super easy to prep. You can just take this black piece out. Uh, add that to the pile. Now, let's move on to the next. So, next step here is going to be... Because this has two more screws on the bottom, we've got to get this piece of dash. It comes all the way around. If you look close enough, you'll see the seam right there. You know, it goes around. Same on both sides. You can follow that seam. And there you see the edges of the piece. So what I did here, I'm just going to grab right in the front, and I'm going to pull straight up. So you get that out super easy to pull out this piece was surprisingly easy now, the whole piece see it's already come loose on that side so i'm just going to grab up here and pull toward me now and that's it uh to get this piece around the shifter i've got an automatic so i'm gonna have to put my key in ignore the beeping Alright, so super easy. This piece uh, comes out, do what you will with that. I, didn't, I decided not to do anything with this. I don't want to overdo color or anything, but uh, I know in, in past uh, vehicles, 
if I had a, an aftermarket head unit, I always like to come in through the back of, of the little console here with an auxiliary cable to plug in my phone or, or iPod or whatever. So uh, that's, that's a little option of something you can do with that, you know, bring an auxiliary cable through the back of that. It's a handy to have it within arm's reach instead of up there. Uh, all right, so this part is out now. Now you've got one, two, three, and four. Four screws in that one. And uh, again, just for the video reference, I, I put all this back in. I've actually got this pulled out for, for uh, I'm going to wrap this in vinyl right now. But as you can see, I've taken my buttons out right here. And this is uh, loose because it's unscrewed in the back. But I left one uh, screw in right here just for the video again same thing as as we had up here this is a seven millimeter and it was not tight at all just used an extension with a seven millimeter socket on the end So we get that out. Now this piece is not clipped at all. It's just going to pull straight out. Uh, but what's going to stop you is all the plugs and wires going into all the, you know, you've got your lock on lock hazards and, and everything up here, your climate control. Again, I don't know how different this is with the LTZ trim model, if, if anything's different. I know I've got the seat heaters uh, up here. I don't know if that affects any of this at all or not, but when you pull this out, not a lot of room to work with it. it well, mine comes off, of course, because it's not plugged in. Let me set that aside. Uh, this is not going to come forward at all very much. That's as far far forward as I can pull this. So you're going to have to reach behind here, you know, you undo your plugs. These whole white pieces right here, actually, you'll push in. You can see a little plastic tab right there, and there's the same thing on the bottom. Both are the same. So you'll push that tab in and, and pull the white thing out that way. That's how you get those off. And then, of course, your plugs for your uh, climate control. Uh, get everything unplugged, and that whole piece is going to come out. And on the back of it, you'll have these knobs. This whole little uh, climate control module is going to be screwed in right here on the back. You've got, uh, what is that, four screws that are holding that one into place. You've got screws that are holding those buttons into place that I've already pulled out. Uh, all pretty simple. Very, very simple to take apart. So you could take this out, prep it for painting, whatever. Um, and reinstallation is really a breeze. It's, it's just as easy to uh, put all this back together. So uh, don't be too intimidated to pull all this stuff apart, man, and get to modding. Um, and as a little bonus, I'll go ahead and show you how to pull the A-pillars next. All right, on your A-pillars, super easy to pull out, actually. I was a little intimidated. I've got, you know, that, that little airbag emblem up here. So I knew I had airbags back behind here, which I didn't in my previous car. So I had never dealt with those before. I was a little intimidated. Uh, so I just went up front, uh, disconnect the negative battery cable. You know, you don't really have to worry about your airbags deploying then. Um... And what I've done with these is is just went to any fabric store, anywhere you could buy fabric, buy this stuff. This was the fabric I bought. It's it's kind of a leather feeling embossed, you know, a nice pattern, classy look. Uh, just buy your fabric and get some decent strength uh, spray adhesive. So you'll spray some on the A-pillar, spray some on the fabric, put them together, you know, trim, wrap, uh, tuck it behind and all that. And actually a fairly cheap modification to do and it I mean it adds a lot it adds a lot to your car um, so anyways to get back on base here what to do to pull these now if you pull this seal out right here you'll see the edge of your a pillar and and you can kind of get behind there and grab it and see it starts coming right there I pulled it out like inward to the car not toward you but straight out away from the panel that it's put into. So we get that done. And you'll see just inside here, this interesting little clip. Never seen anything like this, but what you pulled out was this metal clip. 
and this goes into that metal hole right there but it's all put together by a springy little piece of plastic so this thing doesn't just fly off when you undo it if you push up from the bottom of this there we go see that comes out and it lets your A pillar come on out now once you get this done don't start just pulling on your pillar if you've got tweeters up here again I've got the LTZ trim model so I've got tweeters up there be careful pulling this out I'm just pulling it toward me and there we go you can see I'm pulling on that wire that's the plug for your tweeter if you unplug those there we go now we've got the A pillar pulled out you know here's how they look here's where the tweeters mounted uh, wouldn't actually be very difficult at all to um, well I mean you have to take this out if you're gonna paint or do anything like that but it's there's a little tab there one there one there so three in this you could pop that tweeter out it would be super easy to put aftermarket tweeters in here if you wanted to get something better you know adjustable crossovers and all that um, so as you can see I've just uh, wrapped this thing in the fabric tucked it around you know spray adhesive all the way you know tuck your corners in really nicely so nothing shows um, easy to do really easy to do guys and, and again fairly cheap I spent fifteen dollars on this fabric for one yard of it and six or seven dollars for a can of adhesive and that's I mean that's one of the kind right there no you know easy easy way to get a, a unique look on your car we'll add that to the pile I'll put that on later but uh here's a look of what your a pillar looks like behind just because I've got it off here's the, the actual the side curtain airbags you know we've got our tweeter plugs up here um, and then I guess this is the uh, water drain for for the sunroof or something I guess but uh it's, as far as it as far as that everything here goes that's everything I know to pull out thus far I pulled these out I just kind of got behind them in pride and they finally popped off they're an absolute pain to put back in you've got to get your fingers inside the vent and pull it out toward you and it won't actually come out of the dash but the uh, the little o-rings here actually clip onto the vent and kind of sandwich the dash in between the vent and the o-rings if that makes any sense it's uh, it's a crazy little setup I wish it were a little easier to pull out um, so next up for me I'm gonna I'm gonna take this airbag out so that I can get this trim off and take this silver to red I'm gonna leave the, the chrome alone I do believe but uh, unfortunately I don't have that that done so I can show you guys but hope this helps you guys and uh, let's see some some comments down below and, and links to your videos. I want to see what you guys do with this.